welcome, everyone. Today, we'll begin our journey through this research proposal flowchart. Let's dive right into the introduction. Research question. Our research kicks off with a fundamental element, the research question. It outlines the core issue we aim to address, why it's important, and how we plan to investigate it. Summary of Proposal Alongside the research question, we provide a concise summary of the entire proposal. This gives a bird's-eye view of what to expect as we navigate through this research journey. 2. Literature Review Literature Review, Why and How The Literature Review is a pivotal part of our research. It serves two key purposes to understand why our topic is relevant and how it connects to existing scholarship. Literature on Topic In this section, we delve into the literature on our research topic. We identify key studies, theories, and findings that lay the foundation for our investigation. Literature on Method and Theoretical Approach Continuing our literature review, we explore the methodologies and theoretical approaches used in related studies. This informs our choice of methods and theoretical framework. Literature on the method, find a whole. As we review existing methodologies, we keep an eye out for gaps or areas where our research can make a unique contribution. Finding this whole is crucial to our project's significance. 3. Methodology. Methodology, how? Now, let's shift our focus to the methodology section. Here, we outline the nuts and bolts of how we plan to conduct our research. Research designs and kinds of data. Research design and data type selection are foundational decisions. We'll explain our chosen designs and the kind of data we intend to collect. Research procedures and collection procedures. This section elaborates on the step-by-step -step processes involved in our research, from data collection to analysis. We also discuss the methods we'll use to gather data. Selection and Access, Human Subjects Review, Ethics Statement Ethical considerations are paramount. We address how we'll select and access participants, undergo human subjects review, and provide an ethics statement to ensure the ethical integrity of our research. Cost and Funding Funding is a practical aspect we cannot ignore. We outline the anticipated costs of our research and discuss the funding sources we've secured or plan to pursue. 4. Preliminary Data Preliminary Data, what? Moving forward, we dive into preliminary data. This section offers a sneak peek into what we've found so far. Evidence of Importance and Informs Methodology We highlight the evidence of the topic's importance based on our preliminary findings. This data also informs our methodology and helps refine our research approach. Important Categories and Relationships This part of the preliminary data presentation outlines significant categories and relationships we've identified, giving a taste of the potential insights our research may yield. 5. Statement of Limitations Statement of Limitations It's vital to acknowledge the limitations of our research. In this section, we discuss alternatives and potential weaknesses and clarify what our research aims to achieve. What your research will do. We underline the contributions our research will make to the field, reinforcing its significance despite its limitations. 6. Conclusion. Conclusion what? How? Why? Lastly, we conclude by summarizing the what, how and why of our research, emphasizing its contributions and importance to the broader academic community. Thank you for joining us on this journey through our research proposal flowchart. We'll now open the floor to questions and discussions.